Hey guys, this is Coral and welcome to another weekly update video of World of Custom Statues. If you are interested in any of the pieces mentioned in the video, just send me a message on the social media platform links in the description below. Also, if you want to see more photos, just check out the description as well. Got this Colossus vs Sentinel that was sculpted by Franco ready to ship. This is a massive statue so shipping might be a little expensive. The chrome paint on Colossus looks amazing, very eye catchy in my opinion. And of course, the very detailed sculpt of Franco on the Sentinel. This Logan Maestro or should I say Phase 4 is ready to ship. This is part of a Wolverine Chronicles line by Alejandro Pereira. Logan does have some portrait switchouts and this is by Alejandro so you can expect some quality on the sculpt here. Got one of these very beautiful Psylocke ready to ship, very small base but lots of very nice details. The paint is also quite remarkable, very simple Psylocke statue by Franco. Got one of these Venom that is sculpted by Caleb Nefzen available. This is one of the best Venoms that Caleb did. Very nice flow on Venom jumping from the base. Lots of symbiote details as well on the base. Also one thing worth noting is that this is, has a really good transformation portrait but the mass portraits are equally as good. Hey guys, I got one of these soldier available. It is ready to ship and it is on a discounted price. If you are interested, just hit me up. We have the full reveal and open pre-order for this Venomize X23. This is the second Venomize character in the line. I actually have the Venomize Wolverine which I would say a very successful statue. I probably think this is the best statue of 2023. I got one of these Venomize Wolverine available that I'm bundling up with this Soldier Venom. Well, you can still get them individually but that's up to you. Venomize Wolverine will be a bit pricey, just hit me up if you are interested. This Bugly Spider-Man is shipping real soon, Factory has been extra fast on this one. So if interested, here is your chance, less waiting time too. We have the full reveal for the prototype of this Venom final form. This is part of a museum series of Venom and Spider-Man statues from the studio. This is definitely not your typical Venom as he is quite muscular here. He is in his final form anyway. Doesn't come with any switch out which means there will be no visible sims. We have the full reveal for this Carnage Joker. This is actually the second in line of Venomize or Symbiote DC characters from Arkham or Batman. The first one was a Venomize Batman. The Joker does come with three versions. Either you go for the uh, Joker type colors, which is the green and purple, or the red version, which is more true to Carnage uh, colors. And finally, the version without the cape, since you could actually display this on his side and you could see Carnage uh, form through the cape. We have this Dark Captain Marvel that is ready to ship. Very rare character to own. Her coat also has some very intricate details. You should check them out. And her mask head portrait does have light up features. Got a few slots left available, so just hit me up. We have the full reveal for a Venomized X-23. Originally, this sculpt was an ordinary museum type X-23. It is a sold out statue and is already shipped. Now they have transformed it and added some Venom Simiot, making it a Venomized X-23.
We have the prototype pre-built for this Hellwalker spawn. This is sculpted by Caleb Nevsen. Caleb do love his spawns. This is a very unique concept of spawn as he is in the nude without his usual black suit. We got the prototype rebuild of probably the best museum type carnage. Love the scope on this one. Very easy to display, easy to pair with other Spider-Man or Symbiote collection. Factory did a fantastic job on the prototype. We got the prototype reveal for this Symbiote Spider-Man transformation. Colors are very vibrant like it should. Love how simple and small this statue is and it's actually quite unique with the transformation stuff. We have a new museum type Venom revealed and wow I do like this one. Very very muscular. The portraits also look pretty damn good. We got the full reveal for this life-size Alex Ross Superman bust. Probably the first Alex Ross bust available in the market. Superman collectors definitely don't miss out on this. We have the prototype reveal for this amazing Loki. This is sculpted by one of the best in the business. That's Romel Chopra. The sculpt looks fantastic. Check out all the textures and details. Paint is also pretty good. Very vibrant and complements the sculpt really well. There are a lot of switch out for this Loki too. We have a full reveal and open pre-order for this Venomized Hulk. This is sculpted by Dario Bass and it looks amazing. It does have a torso switch out which looks really really good. We have the prototype reveal for this Franco sculpted classic vision. Gotta say the base looks amazing. The details that Franco sculpted into the Ultron Sentry is remarkable. Vision also very triumphant in this pose. We got the full reveal for this Iron Spider-Man and of course its unique version, the black version. Pre-order is open, this one is already printed and the prototype will be soon. Comes with a lot of switch outs and even a smaller arm so it doesn't take up much space to display. Finally, the pre-order for the Scorpion that was sculpted by Caleb Nevson is open. It does come with four tails, three portraits, and two hands. So just hit me up if you are interested. We have the prototype reveal for this Soldier Logan on tank. Paint definitely came out amazing. Campy did a fantastic job on the uh, statue. Of course, Caleb did also a fantastic job on the sculpt. Definitely a centerpiece Logan statue due to the size of the tank. Pre-order is finally open for this Miles Morales Spider-Man. This is the same line as my Scarlet Spider-Man, the best Scarlet Spider-Man in my opinion. So you can expect a lot on this one too. We have the full reveal and open pre-order for probably the best museum type Archangel statue around. What makes it even more amazing is this is sculpted by no other than Caleb Nevzen. Archangel will come in his usual OG Blue and X-Force versions. And in case you are wondering, the base is the pod or the thing that Angel was created and turned into Archangel. Pre-order for this beast is once again open, very very dynamic pose unlike the other beasts around, very nice details and well textured too.
We got new photos for the prototype of this recovery suit Superman. We now got photos of the second torso which looked amazing. Not even sure if there's a licensed recovery suit Superman available in the market. But this is definitely a must-have and a very comic accurate of the recovery suit Superman. We have the prototype reveal for this Dark Storm. Gotta say, this came out amazing. Not into this line, but the statue got lots of nice textures and details. The translucent monster with light ups also looks pretty cool. This project is up and running again, and we have the print of the Superman by Jim Lee. This is only the quarter scale. We are not sure yet if the one third will happen. But anyway, in case you forget, here are some renders of the Jim Lee Superman. We have the prototype reveal for this Galactus on Throne. Titian did a great job on the paint, very vibrant as always. Statue definitely looks so massive uh, next to her. Actually, this statue I think would also sit well with the sideshow Thanos on Throne since their base is a little bit similar in design and color. Again, every information you need will be in the description below. Subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on future updates. And if you are looking for a different video to watch, you should check out this video right here. This is Carl and see you again next week.